last year was a really exciting, uh, you know, the whole season, the first season was a really exciting ride. Uh, we learned so much about this industry over that period of time. And so, you know, what you will see in this last episode is some of the clips that from our previous shows and some of the things, the trials and tribulations that we went through while we're on our way doing this show. You gotta pay real close attention to some of the subtleties in the transitions. Because you, you will see in those subtleties some of the expressions of why some people are still with us, some people are gone. But we can assure you that everyone who entered this process in the beginning, whatever way they exited, they exit at a higher level. So I want you all to just stay tuned and just, just you know, just let's scroll down memory lane for a second and take a look at this. Let it roll. What's number one to me is that I'm putting out a product out there that people could actually respect and they grow and they get something from. Bubba was an NFL player, Bubba still is an NFL player. Bubba's approach to most things are from a football mentality. Not only is football a real significant part of my life, it is the very uh, institution that has formed me and, and made me the man that I am. I don't want this focus to be on me. Bubba is... He's the man behind Flossin. Bubba runs this ship. Bubba. Bubba. Oh, God. I've been to hell already. I understand what it is I'm after. He pushes you to be better. It's like if you're on a plateau, he doesn't allow you to stay there. He'll either make you rise up or jump off. Bottom line. <laughs> You need my music editor? I go all day, I can sleep when I die. So I'm ready to take this to the top. Troy's the music editor. Troy's an interesting fellow. Troy is a regulator. He runs around and makes sure the temperature doesn't get too hot or too cold. And if you ask him, he had to brainstorm for all of this. You really want to know for the as much as you did out of big fire. You don't want to push Troy too far, too fast, you know. It was a real big challenge to kind of work something out. Do I want to swallow my pride and get along with this person? All of a sudden, he's like somebody that I really count on in this organization. When you're a young company trying to do things, trying to shake and move, you know, you need some loyal soldiers, and, uh, and Troy has proven to be one of those soldiers. I was actually at a party, and Vaughn came up next to me, and she was standing there. So I looked at her, I'm like, what? And she was like, are you Troy? And I was like, yeah, who are you? Fawn Iverson, I'm the executive editor of Flossin Magazine. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is that she's supposed to do, because she's everywhere. I can't always be the one at the office making sure that everybody feels safe and okay. I disseminate information to the other departments of Flossin. I also go after advertising and identify advertising clients. If you ever want to wake up first thing in the morning and have angina, <laughs> <laughs> Speak the part first thing in the morning. That's right, I'm trying to be disrespectful now. Don't f scream at me. Bro. You can scream at me. You f right, that's how you want to take it. Like, Dude. A, once again, you're stalling because you ain't got no Because you go, won't bitch. shut the f up. See what I mean? Why don't you shut up? Um, what I want to show with the, the reality portion of this is to let people see how how raw it is when people come into the raw situation when they just get started. My name is Richard Rogers. Richard Rogers is our is national sales rep or something. I know if you get the title wrong he gets kind of bent out of shape. Are you can you enlighten me a little bit? Are you in charge of sales? Seems like most of these advertising people get the kind of like a little hyper. Stop talking like you say, man. And that's Richard. You, you 
you know, you prick it the wrong way, and he's off and running because he's already wound so tight. You just wish you had one of these. No, no. <laughs> no. Huh? Nice and silver and with some zirconians in there. Look at that. Oh, no, that's real, baby. That ain't real. <laughs> <laughs> I know real rocks, man. Let it be known. That I know real rocks, you know what I mean? <laughs> These are cut off pieces of Let soap stuck into a neck. They like to clown me, you know, because actually, you know, maybe it is funny, because I don't be realizing it. Man, you go to the club, oh, you do they? Like, they be like, ooh, they're like, ah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, baby. When I ask you for something, if you can't get it to me. I think that it's really important that people see the truth. I mean, if we set our sales for success, people need to see the nuances of how that goes. I mean, not always you reach your goal, but what's the intricacies in trying to get there? If people can give you constructive feedback, Will you still see it as breaking you down? In a media company, you know, things happen spur of the moment. Things are always changing at the drop of the dime. I am working my ass off, whether you guys believe it or not, to try to make something happen. I have commitments being made to me that they are going to bring this money to us. But you guys have got to be patient. I don't really hear you talking about anything but the plate being full. I'm in it to the end, man, you know. Allure Limousine Service, because the journey is as meaningful as the destination. It's pronounced buco. Buco? Buco. Buco is a, is a guy that's not of this planet. He, uh, he has only one name. <laughs> Buco's the graphic designer. Um, and he's kind of like a mad scientist. I don't think he has much human contact throughout the day. Me and Buko clashed. Buko told me to shut the f up. I did. I told him to shut the f up and let me finish what I was saying. My first thought was I'm about to whoop his because ain't nobody gonna tell me to shut the f up. But, but it blew over. I had to make a decision between wringing Buko's neck or doing my job. I get along with everybody. We've all given him hell and he's given us hell back, but um, you know, I'm glad he's here. After I, me and Buko actually worked together and we was in the pit doing the layout, we became real cool. Buko's my man. He won't let go of rock and roll when we making an urban lifestyle magazine. <laughs> and some of the earlier issues of Flossom magazine was single-handedly put together by Buko. You know, he really wants to see Flossom succeed. I really enjoy Flossom magazine, putting it together working with the people. I want y'all to pay attention, man. What do we say Deshaun is? He's a pit bull? It took a lot of pressure off me because before he came, I was the pit bull. Whatever. It may show a little bit of my demeanor. You know, they say I have a pit bull attitude. That's just gonna take no I like Deshaun. I like rebellion. He has anger issues. If anger is my only issue, yo, I'm one up. I'm gonna take a time bomb to somebody who with me. One thing I'm doing is I'm not front. If that makes me a pit bull, I guess I'm a pit bull. Man, he's like real focused in what he does, and he's real dedicated to what he does, and he does a damn good job at it. Deshaun was one of the first people that I met from Momentum Studios. Basically, it's a two-man team. Me and my man, Trinity. We do all the camera work. We do all the, the thought process behind where we should go with the show. These are very talented young men. And I'm really inspired to, to be a part of that and to see that what we're trying to accomplish together, it keeps moving forward and, and that these brothers' art is shown to the world. Even when you have a so-called reality show on the ones that you watch on television, they're scripted. You can tell they're scripted at points. TV, you have the opportunity to put it all out there. We got a lot of positive response and a lot of positive feedback from people on the local region. I wish like more TV programs would be a lot more real. Even though there's reality shows, people aren't acting real on those shows. I've actually known John for uh, four or five years now. My buddy. <laughs> He came to me and said, you know, I'd like to go ahead and, and, uh, and do the magazine. CEO Jeff Bell. And he said, I, I like to buy this magazine and I'd like to be my partner. Jeff is truly a businessman. He told me the bigger vision 
uh, what the magazine was and what it was about and where he wanted to go with the magazine. And uh, putting in the real estate aspect, I saw the potential. Jeff Bell, never met him. Jeff is this nebulous person in Reno. He's the CEO. You hear him by phone, but you rarely see him. Every once in a while, he'll call and say, good work, angels. The dynamics of the structure above us, Jeff and, and Terrell Brandon. My role in Foster is more, really more than just ownership, but it's about giving uh, advice when it's needed. You know, TV is a, a stand-up. It's just been a stand-up kind of soldier, man. You know, the cat, you can't say enough about him. I'm uh, proud of him. You know, you always want to see somebody doing well, especially in the black community. He's taken his money, he's invested it, he's put it back into the community. He has a barbershop, a small business here in Portland. He cares about the community. My neighborhood's the things that I do. And, um, you know, just giving back to the neighborhood. So that, that's what this is about. This is about introduction, about putting together professional minds uh, to put together a system that is going to allow us, the economic and the political base, to be able to survive and develop this business in, a, in accordance with professionalism. I have big goals, and so, you know, personally, I want to see it across the world, you know. Some say I'm a little crazy, and I've heard it a couple of times. But I think with a lot of, you know, a lot of help, a lot of sponsorships, a lot of creativity, and a lot of prayer, I think we can do exactly whatever we want to do. I think the only thing that can stop us is us, it's something internal. We're a young company and we're growing, but we have to be willing to grow. This is what Flossom's all about. It's about growing in your dream. It's about holding on to your dream and not self-destructing. We're at that place. I like I like the uh, the show Flossing TV because um, you can read the magazine, Flossing Magazine, and obviously the TV show is about the making of the magazine. Yeah. Right. So you read the articles oh. and then you watch the TV show and go, oh, this is how it all came together. I think that's pretty hot. What I'm saying is the magazine drives the TV show because it's, it's about making the magazine. We got to make a magazine. But right now, the juggling act is getting everything online simultaneously. We got to get advertising online. We got to get the TV program continually pump out. You know, we got to get all these stories redone. So right now, y'all have to shift in the gear and start building your portion of the deal. My name is Kaya. I'm originally from South Africa. My South African queen. <laughs> she is crazy. Crazy. Kaya's role is to, to, to work with the graphics department. Anything that's graphic related needs to be ran by me. Kaya came in with a bang. I don't really take myself seriously, but I do take my job very seriously. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that, and I'm the almighty Kaya. It has to be done, and it has to be done properly. She's been here 15 minutes, and she got the answer to everything already. God bless her. Now you get a chance to hang with Kaya for a little bit. And you are saying you're in charge of the creative team. Yes, sir, I Who am. Who are the members of this? She told me that she was the head of the creative department something. I don't know. But like I said to her, whoever or whatever department that is, I don't work there. Y'all know the Fawns and the Troys and the Bookers. These people don't roll over that easy, man. I mean, you know, so new people, when they come in, they got their they work cut out for them. Everybody knew when they come in here, you just never know. I've learned to sort of shut my mouth and take the wait and see approach. Sometimes you have to come into a place and point out those missing pieces to the puzzle in order for, for it to really begin to work. You give somebody a long enough rope and they're either going to do one or two things. They're going to lasso something good for you or they're going to hang themselves. Come see why everybody's talking about Floss and TV. Every Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. and Fridays at 7.30 p.m. Brought to you by... With all reality TV programs, there are people that are coming and there are people that are going. And what I mean by that is some people don't fit, man. We got a system already in place. Maybe you gonna fit in or you ain't. Okay, all right, that's fine. You do the dog, yo. Oh, geez, I think I'm on, what, day 18? So, I'm the new guy.
Tim Davis is uh, the new sales executive vice president guy. One of the most significant pieces of running a media company, man, is getting the, the dollars out of the real estate that you sell, the product. It's dog eat dog. It's everybody telling you no and lying to you and telling you all these things that you know that it isn't true. In my book, Tim's a good guy. No, I haven't seen that he's brought in anything to speak of. I'm not saying I'm right. I mean, I'm told John, I don't want to change anything for at least 90 days. Right. I mean, we're in this market to be competitive and we will be competitive, but we're looking to be one of the best, if not the best. What's up, America? My name is Keith Weldon, AKA K-Ski. Keith got about 42 names. <laughs> I don't know, I just call him Keith. His mama named him Keith, I'ma call him Keith. Keith is a promoter from Flossie. Right now, I'm gonna throw y'all a new word for promoters that you probably never heard before. I am a club event impresario. Club event impresario. What does that mean? Emperor-sario, impresario. What is it? Other than right now, I ain't <laughs> never even heard anybody use the word impresario. I don't even know what it, what does that mean? Empresario, <laughs> and that's Keith, right? You know, it's a hot show, we got urban, urban twist to it, hip-hop beats. It's real hot, real reality. Check us out. Flossin's message is getting lost. It's getting missed out there. We're getting misclassified. What I think we forget is that, in truth, there's a lot of stuff that's really about being one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. that, that what really divides us, oftentimes, is what we think, but not really reality. That, in truth, we've probably got more in common with each other than is not in common with one another. You know, we all need somebody in our corner to check us. How seriously do I want this generation and the generation after them to really live in a freer society, if nowhere else in Portland, Oregon? What Matt Hennessy does for me is he's a, he's a character check. He's a, um, he's a uh, integrity check. We have to have that, that moral or that spiritual compass that allows us to be navigating our ship to the, toward the things that we believe that's important for us. And one of those things is, is, is lifting human spirits. This is the end of the week, it's done. I'm sorry there are no rooms for change at this point. <laughs> Baba wants to change other things. It's too late, it's Friday. Kaya? Sir. Hi. Yes, Let me sir. introduce myself. <laughs> So basically what we're doing, we're just making a list, a to-do list, to make sure that we have everything done for this event right here, for the Warren G's party. The objective was to go there and make sure Warren had a really good time. We was representing his new promo release for the Midnight Hour, but the same token for Flossin Magazine, for Flossin to get out there and represent what Flossin Media is all about. I got like two hours to go. We have to have a list in the next four I know. We supposed to have a meeting so everybody can be on the same page. Look at the crowd out here and look at everybody. Why don't you take a look at this right here? Lawson delivers a serious campaign when it comes to epic events. I don't know of a venue around here that we can't pack. As far as the turnout, as far as drawing people towards um, Flossin, Flossin TV, Flossin Magazine, Flossin Media, I think that was a successful representation of what Floss can do. You know, it's really clear to me, and if it's not clear to any of you, what we do well is we put together events. It was very well planned. You know, we got the people to the venue. That place was packed. You guys went to work in a short period of time to put together what what I characterize as Flossin's, one of Flossin's really strong points. Different parts of the magazine is starting to learn to hone together and become more efficient at how we gather information, how we discern information, how we uh, come together as a team. Now we're finally getting down to working. When it's all said and done, we can really all come to the table and decide what we want to run in. We'll be right back with more Flossin TV. Yeah, Liquid Assets is the official jeweler for Flossin TV. Whether it's watches, chains, earrings, or any custom jewelry needs that you may have, they got you covered. Contact Liquid Assets at 1-888-ICED-OUT. That's what's up.
post them up on the website and we can all look at them. This is the tool to help us see what we have and what we don't have. This is when everyone has to bear down and you got to get editing going on, you got to get proofreading, you got to get uh, research that's down, and you got to get pictures that coincide with the stories, and you got to start doing layout and all of that. That's crunch time. My name is Tony. Tony got skills. I mean, talking to Tony, I really think she knows what she's doing. She's very analytical. I was asked to come here to put some systems in place and to, uh, in Bubba's words, connect the dots. What Tony has done since he's been here is that she's encouraged and motivated and got that thing on track more so than anybody that's been here yet. So as of right now, Creative, you have three minutes left of your time. I look at her as a general manager. I keep track of the staff. I have to know what everybody's doing at every moment of the day. You know, flossing is a process for us all. You know, it's not like most people perceive flossing to be this thing that you can just come on and just get involved with and you can just do whatever, act however, and conduct yourself however you want to. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's something in the water here or what it is, but... That's flossing right here. That's my definition of flossing. In a suit and boats. Okay. You're in the shot. Yeah. The ice cube situation. How are you guys going about putting this event together? Fawn is a great interviewer, don't get me wrong. But Fawn as a negotiator, not. We've made a, a, a real serious attempt at an investment in, in Ice Cube and, and his message to be supportive of what he's trying to achieve in the Northwest. If you're not assertive for what it is that you want in terms of negotiation, then you're probably not going to get what it is that you want to get. Advertising is f***ing advertising. I think Tim just got in a rut, stuck behind his desk, spinning his wheels. Just when you think people are buying into the vision, they're really not buying into the vision. Isn't sales your department? Well, it is. So you should know the answer to that question. <laughs> I am John Dover, uh, new to the Flossum team, kind of working into the position of... John is contracted with us solely to do uh, advertising. Creating the meat and bones behind a lot of our sales. But he's sort of getting more involved in the day-to-day -day planning of, uh, you know, of our marketing strategies and stuff like that. <laughs> when we have our advertising meeting, He's able to hear what's going on in that meeting. It's quite the ride. <laughs> Flossing is an exciting project. They all start out in this process with the greatest of intentions. I think a lot of people go into pretty much any job situation with, you know, your guns are out, both barrels pointing, and uh, the problem is you don't always know where you're pointing to. So people who start out on the wrong foot generally end up on the wrong foot. You know, and I wanted I wanted our viewers to view how that all works. Oh, email. All we're trying to do is to shine some light on some wellness, man, on how to arrive to a place of completeness. Reno um, Role Model Summit. This is a nonprofit event uh, organized for underprivileged kids. Our CEO has requested us to bring our staff through and capture some content. One of the perceptions that people need to have in order to survive is the perception of influence and the perception of capability. Well, you can't influence your environment if you don't perceive you're capable. In order to get capability, you need to be taught something. I don't want y'all to look at everything I've done throughout my career as impossible, because it's very possible. If only y'all knew, for those of y'all that do know my story, like I come from the bottom, there's a lot of people looking at me Suit this nice looking office. Look. This, is, this is you tomorrow. I, I, I made a choice. There's a few things that Floss has really gone after that's a little different this year, along with putting out a quality piece of media. You know, people who picked us up, you know, they might perceive us as a lot of things, but boy, when they crack the binder on the back of that magazine and they start to read, they say, Oops, there it is. For me, this new season is about the fruit of the labor. What did we learn? You know, how do we bring to our viewers some of the interesting things that we've learned. And then the other thing too is about looking at some of the real civic issues that we really face. The, the young African American male is, is, a, is a species under you know, attack. If you sit out around and look at people doing nothing, you're going to do nothing. But the bottom line is, is as you view a lot of the young people who you find participating in, in, in this season, you'll find that the whole idea is about uplifting 
educational inspiration, trying to lift the morale and lift the essence of a, of a group of people. You know, because they know we ain't about no half-stepping. We ain't going to drop no half-stepping story. We're not going to drop some old stuff that's going to tell you, I got mine and you got to get yours, and then cut out all the middle pieces. Cut out all the technical information that you need to know in order to be able to do that. I think the magazine would definitely kind of get me where I need to go. And they have different opportunities for me now to like learn more about how businesses are run. You know what I'm saying? Oops. There it is. In this next series of TV, it's going to be a lot more of an upbeat kind of technical kind of sense to where we're going to follow these young men around, these young women around. We're going to, we're going to track their lives, we're going to, and we're going to integrate ourselves into the basic fabric, and then we're going to let them create. And then we're going to, we're going to use their creation as our form of media. I'm in control of my own destiny, and from this point on, I can't really, like, give an excuse. We as the people have the power to change the world. I want y'all to stay tuned for season two. Flossy TV. The Make Love Magazine. Yo, this is George Dr. Funkenstein Clinton saying you're watching Flossy TV. They do the dog, y'all.